I and my students uh, came here today to do some research on our course project. We got the students to have an industry exposure and come into uh, Kenya Wildlife Services and be able to have a game drive and also a presentation. My experience with the game drive, it really put into perspective how beautiful uh, like wildlife is, how they interact with each other, like certain areas that certain animals like move around in and everything and just how honestly just beautiful nature is. This really helped explain what the KWS are doing in terms of anti-poaching and park management which really helps put into perspective the amount of work that goes into preserving these natural spaces and protecting them for future generations. The presentation was meant to give them an understa further understanding of some of the data and additional things that they may not have experienced within the park because uh, the topic itself is something that the KWS uh, uh, personnel have really mitigated so we can't be able to actually see the live um, occurrences of poaching. We got a chance to see also how beautiful the country is and how much uh, of a role we have to play even as game designers and programmers in raising awareness. In relation to digital journalism we we're able to write travel logs and feature stories on anti-poaching and how this is a vice and should be adhered to by the public. Personally for me I really had a very nice experience at the game drive just having the up close with the, the lions and all that and capturing the buffaloes and the rhinos. And then after the game drive we had a very informative lecture um, given by one of the uh, KWS wardens and um, filled in a lot of the gaps about poaching. Um, a lot of the numbers and the statistics and things that we will now um, use when programming the game to make it realistic in terms of the effects or the choices that the players make. The nature of serious games is having a game that is beyond entertainment that actually has a key uh, learning experience to it and in this case it would be to sensitize and now it's for the students to use the knowledge that they've just gained to be able to make a game that even KWS itself may be able to use to as a sensitization tool. We'll do what we can to put everything in um, <clears throat> in the timelines and make it as realistic or as useful, let me say, as possible. And um, yeah, and that's, that's it's a wrap to a really productive day.